right, last alimony payment, dance guy. Bill, a million people have probably already sent you this, or maybe you saw it yourself on Barstool. Yeah, I watched it. I'm always on Barstool. Uh, Boston Barstool, by the way. Um, I'm always on that thing. They always have great videos. Um, you know, some of some of the, the, the fucking people on there, they're, they're so pro-Boston sports, you know what I mean? That it gets, you know, I'm one of those guys that if we have a piece of shit on our fucking team and you say he's a piece of shit, I'm not going to defend him. You know what I mean? Which then gives me license to trash your piece of shit. And then you say, yeah, 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 you know what? You know what? You're right. We got a piece of shit in our team, too. And then we get to drink together. There's no fights. There's no lawsuits. There's no broken teeth. It's, it's wonderful. It's one of the great things about being an old guy is you see the middle ground. But having said that, I still love my Boston teams. And uh, I, I, I love that site. I love that site. So anyways, I mean, uh, the video is the greatest thing I've ever seen. It's Thursday morning at my shitty office job, and I swear my feet started bouncing under my desk in pure joy for this man. Uh, love you and love Nia. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, it's a great video. We'll post it. This guy, <laughs> this guy is making his final alimony payment, and he says how much it is. It's something like just under ten grand. This guy's been given some woman. Almost every fucking month. Now, granted, this guy might have fucked up his own marriage. He might have fucked around on her or whatever. But just Jesus Christ. To have to give another human being 10 grand a month for fucking years and you did not maim them. You didn't cause them an inability to go out and get a fucking job and earn a living. Is just, It's fucking criminal. And this isn't child support, people. This is alimony. You're giving somebody 10 grand a fucking month. It's just unbelievable. So this guy is making his last payment, and he's doing this fucking dance. It's one of the happiest guys I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's, it's fucking hilarious. And um, I do have hope that in the future... When this latest push by women is over, you know, it's kind of like a game between the two of us, right? So right now it's, it's hardcore women, everything bad that ever fucking happened between men and women. It's going one way right now. It's just guys need to grow up, right? We got to stop talking to them on the street, you know, no more. Uh, she was asking for it. Uh, what else? What else are they telling us? Um, you know, we got to listen more. We need to cook more. We need to do a lot of their fucking jobs around the house that they don't want to fucking do because they have a job now. You know, it's like, well, so do I. So I got to do the job and all the housework. Is that what you're fucking saying? No, I'll pitch in. No, you won't. You'll start to do it. And then you'll come home. You say you're tired. And then your bottom lip starts quivering. Then I feel like a bully. And next thing you know, I'm wearing a fucking apron. Um, but I think eventually... Um, unless my conspiracy theory is true. Uh, my conspiracy theory is basically this. Well, let's finish the first thing. Eventually, at some point, there is going to be a pushback by men um, about these divorce settlements to try to get them a little more not as fucking crazy. Okay? Um uh, because, I mean, I just, I don't know, just the amount of fucking money and that she's used to a certain lifestyle. I mean, whoever came up with that was a fucking genius. I mean, how they got the, I'm used to a certain lifestyle. Yeah, the lifestyle you had when you were together, this relationship failed. All right? So, yeah. You, you don't have that lifestyle anymore and neither does he. Why does one person or or whoever's making more money, to be fair to women in this stuff, because... I know, uh, who the fuck, because Nia's always bringing up the women who are getting fucked in this thing, because you know me, I'm so fucking one-sided and ignorant. Um, who got fucked over? I, I I can't remember who. Was she saying Halle Berry? One of those people just has like some ridiculous payment they had, that they had. And once again, they just, they were in the state of California. They were making way more fucking money. And now the person that they used to be with gets to act like, you know, they, you know, I don't know what they're, they're fucking crippled. They can't go out and get a fucking job too. There's people, do you realize that there's people paralyzed from the fucking neck down who have written fucking scripts for movies that got made? You know what I mean? You're sitting there with all your fucking faculties and you want 10 grand a month, you lazy sack of shit. It's fucking unbelievable.